Hello and welcome to my uh, tutorial for the bond price calculator in Excel and as us per usual I've got a downloadable link in the description so you can download this uh, template and uh, play around with it. So it's a really great tool, it's a really fast way to calculate bond prices. Uh, looking at this formula I've got here you can see it's quite complex and very easy to make mistakes. So having a calculator like this uh, will ensure you have a lot of accuracy with your bond price calculations. So what I've got, uh, all you need to do is enter your values into the grey cells here. And one important thing to note is this drop down uh, list for the coupon frequency. Please do not delete that. And uh, you can see I've got the three options here for which uh, coupons are typically paid. So please do not delete that when you're messing around with the uh, template or you'll run into all sorts of problems. So I've got a little question here just so we can test out the uh, Calculator, calculate the price of a 12% 10-year government bond paying semi-annual coupons at a yield of 11%, assume the face value is $100. So simply all we need to do is um, plug these uh, figures into the template. So we know our face value here is $100, our coupon rate was 12% per annum. Now we know this was paying semi-annual coupons, so twice a year which is uh, biannually. And uh, most government bonds and I believe most corporate bonds uh, typically pay out coupons biannually, so twice a year. Uh, we purchased it on a yield of 11% uh, per annum and our years to maturity was 10. So simply, once you plug all the values into the grey cells, it'll spit out our result here. Uh, $105.98, that's the value of this uh, government bond. Now what I've done is I've actually locked these cells so uh, you can't accidentally delete them uh, and screwing up the formulas. So if you do need to unlock it for any reason, maybe you want to get more decimal places out of the um, out of the bond price, all you'll need to do if it doesn't let you is go over to review and instead of protect sheet it'll say uh, unprotect sheet or unlock sheet. So you can click that and then you can edit these cells here. I just did that so that um, the formulas wouldn't get deleted. Alright, well thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to download the template. Link's in the description below and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.